Okay, so I'm back at the gym, this time um, at my local golf gym uh, where I tend to work out. And what we have here is uh, a hammer strength row machine. Uh, this one, depending on your perspective, could either be considered a low row or a high row. The handles are uh, pretty low here. Uh, their label got scraped off a little bit, so I forget what they call this thing. But the point being, it's one of their row machines, and I wanted to look a little bit at the resistance profile here. You'll notice, you've never used one of these machines before, you sit on the seat right here. There's a pad that's um, intended to pad your chest there, so give you a little fixation. You're facing this way and pulling back. So what we see here, I've unloaded it so I can move it with one arm, is that there's a slight uh, slope here, a downward angle. So if gravity's pulling straight down, it's not quite 90 degrees here to this lever, if you will. So what we notice is that uh, the perpendicular distance, that moment arm, if I were to draw, imagine an imaginary line right here. If I measure the distance between that and the axis, which is this point right here, what you would notice is that it actually, that distance increases just a tad as I come up here, right? I'm trying to zoom out as much as I can, but I'm doing this by myself. So you notice the moment arm actually gets a little bit bigger as I come up here. So as the handle comes back a little bit, maybe six or seven inches, and so this will be where the weight feels the heaviest in terms of the amount of torque and then it's going to drop off again as I come up farther. So as my hand comes back towards my body, and I might finish the rep somewhere around here, you look at the angle, now it's starting to drop off again. Now I would argue that it's not dropping off enough. Again, we can, you know, get nitpicking arguments about these things. But the point is that there is um, some change in the resistance here. Now a lot of people don't like these hammer strength machines. Uh, they feel the the torque curves or the, the resistance curves on them aren't necessarily good. I've had decent experiences with them myself, but I think that's just a product of uh, my mechanics and how I'm built. Another thing worth mentioning is that I said the resistance will be the greatest around here, around this point where this lever looks horizontal. I say around here because this has some weight to it. The exact center of mass of the system, being the arm plus the weight you put on it, is going to depend on, well, how much weight you load on here, the shape of the plates, a little bit of that, right? Uh, or at least the amount of weight that you put on. So it's going to shift a little bit, so uh, the maximal you know, resistance point might be here, or it might be a little above it, it might be a little below, um, because you see that some of the structure and some of the mass is back behind this, uh, this weight point here. So I wanted to say something about that. Hopefully that made a little bit of sense.